In this video, we've got two pizzerias trying to decide high price or medium price. Uh, they are in duopoly, and we're going to use game theory to solve what should happen. So if pizzeria two does a high price, what should pizzeria one, which is the left player, they should do a medium price. And then if pizzeria two does a medium price, what's better for pizzeria one, which is the left player, that was going to be uh, 50. And so uh, Pizzeria 1, which is a left player, has a dominant strategy to do the medium price. And Pizzeria 2, trying to decide high price or medium price. And so if Pizzeria 1 does a high price, it's better for Pizzeria 2 to do a medium price. And then uh, if Pizzeria 2 follows their dominant strategy, then it's also better for Pizzeria uh, 2 to do the medium price. So this is our Nash equilibrium. It is also our uh, dominant strategies equilibrium. Now, considering that these firms are rivals, uh, if they were to collude, there's a better outcome. So it would be better if they both work together, both charged a high price for themselves. Uh, that would be what cooperation would look like. Also illegal, um, but that would be the collusive outcome. Now, it's not stable because both parties have a uh, incentive to cheat on the cartel, and so we'd likely end up back here, um, but cooperation would be both doing a high price.